Project 2025 is not a joke. People need to start waking up to that fact as to what these people are trying to do to this country if Donald Trump will be elected. Make no mistake about what it wants to do. And all the denials from Trump are falling by the wayside. He's trying to say on Twitter all over the country that he doesn't know what Project 2025 is. He has no idea what the what the Heritage Foundation is, the people involved in it. But the fact is, we all know that's a lie. And to help me illustrate this, I'm going to show you a CNN report that breaks down Donald Trump's lies in real time. Conservative in charge of Project 2025 calls their efforts to start a bloodless revolution. The project, of course, is the 922 page wish list of actions to fundamentally change the American government, society, and life. This right here is it the printout of that plan. The vessel, though, that they plan to use to accomplish it is Donald Trump who now says that he knows nothing about this project, nor does he have any idea who's behind it. Well, that's BS, no matter which way you shovel it. And here is the evidence. First, the WHO. The group behind this project is the Heritage Foundation. It is a group that Trump is not only familiar with, but relies on them for policy advice and guidance. Just ask him. For nearly 50 years, this legendary institution, which is what it is, has been at the forefront of the conservative movement, helping lead the fight to defend our cherished American history, culture, and traditions. Our country is going to hell. The critical job of institutions such as Heritage is to lay the groundwork, and Heritage does such an incredible job at that. Encourage new thinking, embrace new directions, and keep heritage at the vanguard of the conservative movement. I think tremendous things are going to be coming out of heritage. Each of you here tonight, I ask you to think big, dream bigger, aim higher, get ready to work. I know how wealthy the people in this room are, so start shelling out to heritage. So just how influential was heritage in the Trump administration? Well, just listen to Trump's own former vice president. Heritage Foundation has been fighting side by side with this president and this administration since day one. And we have a stronger and America as a result. From right in the transition, we went to work availing ourselves of the resources available from the Heritage Foundation. We laid out plans for this administration. We drew on the scholarship and the resources of this historic think tank. Now, the man in charge of the Heritage Foundation is also someone that Trump is quite familiar with. I want to thank Kevin. He's going to be so incredible. Heritage Foundation president, somebody else doing an unbelievable job. He's bringing it back to levels it's never seen. Dr. Kevin Roberts. And here's how the Heritage Foundation's president described the project as he literally shared the same stage as Donald Trump. Our project 2025 has developed a comprehensive policy agenda, but even more importantly, recruiting people, 20,000 people to go into the next administration, hopefully to help take back this country for you and for your audiences. We want no credit. We want the American people, the President Trump is is elected again, President Trump and his administration, to take credit for that. The man overseeing the project itself signals that he will be there to implement it inside of a future Trump West Wing. My name's Paul Dans, and it's my privilege to be with you tonight. I'm from the Heritage Foundation. My former boss, President Donald J. Trump, the 45th President of the United States, I'm going to take this opportunity to say, hey, Kevin, um, it's been great working with you, but uh, I kind of want to go back to work for my old boss. <laughs> so um, I'm going to give you an official 10-month notice today. <laughs> but praise the Lord. Another person involved is one of Trump's closest aides, and he's even clearer about the project's purpose. 
I work for the Heritage Foundation on their Project 2025, which is in charge of staffing the next administration should Trump win. And he's hardly the only loyalist who's involved in this project. Uh, so are more than 30 former administration and campaign officials, including Stephen Miller, Ken Cuccinelli, Stephen Moore, Peter Navarro, and Ben Carson, all who Trump would have a hard time convincing us he doesn't actually know. A great patriot, a great negotiator for our country. He did a tremendous job. Steve Moore is so fantastic. And Steve, I want to thank you very much because you've been uh, you've been there right from the beginning. Uh, wanted to put him on the Fed. A man who is tough and smart and loves our country is a real, real guy. He's a real patriot. Stephen Miller, my friend. Stephen Miller. Former Secretary Ben Carson did a fantastic job. Everybody loves him. I love him. Now, as for Trump's other claim that he doesn't know anything about the project, let's just deconstruct that sentence on its surface. Quote, I know nothing about Project 2025. But then he goes on to say he disagrees with some of the things that they're saying. He knows nothing about it, but disagrees with it. First, the Heritage says the foundation briefed all of the Republican candidates on the project, including Trump himself. In fact, the Heritage president reportedly installed Trump's advisors on purpose, knowing that Trump prioritizes personal loyalty over policy. And when Trump says that some of the ideas are ridiculous and abysmal, while some of that is perhaps believable given his waffling on issues like abortion, much of the project lines up completely with Trump's own promises. Now, this is hardly an exhaustive list, but they include killing the Department of Education, crushing the independence of the FBI and the DOJ, the mass firings of civil servants, and mass deportations. And so while Trump may not be the architect of this blueprint, his loyalists are their developers. He is certainly the mogul. And remember, he always notes that he only hires the best people. And there you are, Donald Trump's lies buried by his own mouth. And again, make no mistake of what Donald Trump and Trump Project 2025, or now they're trying to rename it as Agenda 47, is going to do. It's not to save the country or protect its people. It's to grab power and hold on to it for life. And Donald Trump is their oral vassal to facilitate their power. We have the chance to stop it by ending Donald Trump in the ballot box because we can't count on the law or anyone else to help us. We have to do it on our own. CTP, know the truth. God bless. Peace to the left, justice to the right.